Robert Sapolsky, who did the foundational research on this at Stanford, calls it the magic of maybe. When you look at your phone and maybe there's a text there and maybe there's not and you don't know, when it shows up, that high you get, that's dopamine. It's the magic of maybe. Maybe it'll be there, maybe it won't. When it shows up, you get a 400% spike in dopamine. That is roughly the same amount of dopamine as you're getting from cocaine. It's slightly less than an extremely addictive drug like cocaine. And that's what's happening. Think about things like things that, you know, routinely produce a lot of dopamine. Alcohol, for example. There's a drinking age, right? We have a drinking age. The alcohol releases a whole lot of dopamine. It makes you feel really, really good. We say, okay, you can have that, but you've got to wait. You've got to be 21 years old. We don't do that with social media. We're, you know, essentially putting highly addictive drugs into the hands of kids before they have any natural defenses against them. And what you're seeing with internet addiction, with social media addiction, is the same thing over and over. It's people trying to change their state of consciousness with a device trying to get at the underlying neurochemical chemistry and it's very, very addictive.